Hi, this is Angela from North Carolina, and I am making some chili today with my ultimate beefless ground crumbles. Of course, you can make my same chili with your meat. To get started, I used my electric chopper, and I chopped three stalks of celery and one large onion and two big cloves of garlic and they are now running clear and my garlic is starting to toast a little bit so it's time to throw in the meat and this meat doesn't cook very long or it gets tough but now that I've thrown the meat in and spilled half of it luckily I just cleaned this off five minutes ago So here we go, we put a little bit more olive oil in. And I'm going to go ahead and, oops, put in a pack of hot chili spices. I use the whole pack. We like spicy food. Put more olive oil. bit of water, not very much, and the meat really doesn't cook long with the celery and onion. Of course, if you're using real meat, you'll have to drain it after you cook it. Of course, this won't be drained. I'm adding black pepper. I'm not a salt eater, but this does need a little salt. My pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to add some cayenne. I'm putting so many cans of beans in here that one package of chili mix won't be enough. So there's some more chili. I buy my chili and cayenne and all of that in the ethnic section. It's much cheaper. You'll notice that this is Badia chili powder. It's not from the regular chili uh, spice section. And then here's some more cumin. I'm out of cumin seed. Usually I like to toast a little cumin seed with the vegetables. And now some plain garlic, not garlic salt. And like I said, of course, if you're cooking with real meat, you'll cook this meat longer and you'll use your drain screen to get the grease off. Unless you don't have much grease, you know, if you've used a good quality. Let me add a little bit more water. And I'm going to throw in a couple shots of liquid smoke, about four. That's all. And I'm going to turn this up. This shirt was not the shirt to wear for making chili. So now I'm turning it up a little bit. Some people add bell pepper to their chili. I used to, but I don't need more. But it's a wonderful way to sneak a little vitamin C into your family's diet with a little bell pepper. So the meat is starting to not do anything. It's not absorbed the flavor yet.
turn it up again. I'm not going to cook the chili in this small container. I just wanted to get my meat browned in it and get it started. Then I'm going to put it in the larger container that you see there. Okay, I've turned it up now to medium high. You can hear it sizzling. Last time I made this, I made a box of Jiffy Mix and once the chili started bubbling and was bubbling hot, I got a big spoon and I dropped large spoonfuls of cornbread on top of the chili. And I put the lid on and the cornbread steamed. And it was delicious. And of course I baked some cornbread in the oven also. But it was so good. I used to do that years ago. It was almost like cornbread dumplings, if you would. So here we go meat's about ready. Now I'm going to add my roasted corn. Of course you can use frozen, but right now I have quite a few canned goods on hand. I'm adding my corn. Depending on your family, you can add two cans. I'm not making that much. Now I'm going to put in my diced tomatoes. With some tomato juices. The diced tomato cooks down to nothing. You won't see the diced. It'll just be mush. Yeah, I might be able to fit this whole cornbread. This whole cornbread. This whole dish in this container. We're just going to have to see. Nope, we're going to switch. So now we've put in our tomato and made a mess. If you've watched my channel before, you know that messes is part of how I cook. My hands are disabled. I worked as a mail carrier to put my children through college and my hands have paid the price. Okay, so there goes that. Now I'm gonna throw in a can of Margaret Holmes Hoppin' John. It's black eyed peas with some tomato and pepper. I've got a can of Bush Chili Pinto Beans with a mild chili sauce. They were not drained, of course. I want that flavoring of that chili sauce. Bush has great beans. I have a can of light red kidney beans. And another can of Bush light red kidney beans. Now I'm going to add some red pepper flakes. I turned it down. And as you will see, we almost have a pot of chili. In about two hours, probably about six o'clock, it'll be ready to go. I don't think I'm going to make the cornbread dumplings this time. I think we're just going to have 
regular cornbread on the side and crumble it up. But anyway, that is my version of vegetarian chili. And like I said, feel free to use your real meat or turkey or ground chicken. So I hope you enjoy it. And uh, it really is good. Take care. Bye-bye.